What's good guys, Crazy Visions here, if you're on a fantastic day, send out them positive vibes to all my creators out there and welcome back to another music video tutorial in Final Cut Pro 10. So today what I want to talk to you guys about is one of my favorite transitions which I probably use 90% of the time for all those drill type videos that is coming out of Australia right now, which is the masking transition. So let's jump into Final Cut Pro, let's get into it. Alright guys, so we're in Final Cut Pro 10. As you guys can see, I've already prepared three clips for you guys and this one's from Day One's music video, King of My City. Alright, to do this transition, what I want to do is first off click on my clip that I want to transition to, which is my second clip right here. And you want to go up to Edit and find Add Freeze Frame or click Option F for the shortcut. So click Add Freeze Frame. So when you click add freeze frame, what it's going to do, it's going to give you a still image. So I'll play that out for you guys, what it looks like. <laughs> Boom. Now what I want to do is click that still image and drag it on top for now. And what we're going to do is go into the right hand side and we can click on all. Or click on all and type in mask. And we're going to look for draw mask, which is right here. Click on draw mask and drag that into your freeze frame. So once that's dragged in and you go up here, you're going to see a little pen tool. And this pen tool, what you can start doing is clicking away and making sure that we are cutting out the subject that we want to mask. And for this tutorial purpose, I will probably time lapse this right now. And while you're masking, just make sure that you do a pretty clean mask. You can even up here, zoom in to your frame and make sure that you clean it up. As you guys can see here, this one is not as clean. So you can click on the point and just drag it in, make it a bit cleaner. And to finish off the mask, all you have to do is just connect the dots. All right. So once you've masked out your subject, what you want to do is click on the mask that you just created and bring it back a couple of frames back. And the remaining we can cut off. Like so. Now. What I'm going to do is play it back for you guys so you guys can see what it looks like right now. We'll press play. Boom. So as you guys can see, it's looking pretty basic. You know, you guys can roll with that if you want to, but I like to enhance it a bit more. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on my mask and I'm going to go over here to the transform side and click over here, add a keyframe. So we're gonna click that. Then we're gonna click this transform tool up here, it's this little box. And we're gonna drag our mask all the way till we don't see our subject anymore. Just make sure that it's always in the middle. And what that has done, as you guys can see on the right hand side, it has already created the keyframe. And now we're going to go back to our timeline and we're going to get the playhead and just drag it just before the second clip, say around there. And then we're going to go back to transform and see on our X position, we're going to click over here and make sure we click zero. Always has to be zero. And hit enter. And what that's going to do is going to create your keyframes as you guys can see it is coming in from our right side back to the center that's why it needs to be always back at zero and once we go back and press play this is what it's going to look like boom so as you guys can see it is a very very simple transition and it enhances your music videos by a ton which is why I love doing this transition. Now, if you want to spice it up even more, 
what I like doing is using a plugin from a company called Red Giant. If you guys want to check them out, I'll leave their link right here on the screen. Um, they do probably the best like effects. And if you guys watch a lot of my music videos, I use their effects like crazy. So I'll just want to drag one of these in. And this is one that looks probably super familiar to you guys, which I probably, if you guys watch my music videos, I use this effect a lot and it's called Universe Stylize and it's called Hollow Matrix 2. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drag that into my mask and check this out. Boom. And then I can probably, I'm just gonna pick a random one for you guys, maybe this green one. And now when I play it back, this is what it looks like. bang so yeah that's how you do the masking transition so i'm gonna do one more for you guys so click our third clip same thing hit edit find add freeze frame as you guys can see we already added our freeze frame Click on our freeze frame, drag it to the top, go to your effects tab, hit all, go down to the search bar, type in mask, draw mask, drag that draw mask into your freeze frame at the top. And we'll start masking out our subject. dots and once you got your mask you want to drag that a couple of frames back about there delete the excess that you don't need and we'll play it back if you guys see again boom and this time we'll get our subject to come from the bottom so same thing so you want to click on your mask, go to the transform tool, hit add keyframe. This time we'll go to the Y position and drag it down until we don't see our subject. Go back to our timeline, just drag it just before the clip ends. This time we're going to click the Y position and type zero, hit enter to bring it back to the center and we'll play it back. Boom. And just to enhance it a bit more, like I said, red giant, I'm gonna use universe stylize, hit hollow matrix, drag that in, choose another preset. Um, unstable glitch and we'll play it back Ooh. so there it is guys the masking transition very simple to do and probably one of the best ways to enhance your music videos so there you have it my favorite masking transition hope this tutorial helps you out in your next music video if you guys do implement this make sure to tag me at crazy visions on instagram or send me a dm and i'll make sure to check it out also if you like this tutorial make sure you leave a thumbs up hit the subscribe button i'm trying to get a thousand subscribers by the end of this year so it will help out a lot and leave a comment down below what you guys want to see next and i'll catch you guys at the next one peace